Hello and welcome back to Command Blocks Tutorials. This is number two, where we will be looking at the spawn point tutorial. Now, um, what we're going to now, what we're going to do is this is a tutorials on how to use command blocks. I'm going to assume you already know how to obtain one, and the basics of setting one up. I mean, powered by redstone. I mean, so it's more how can't get more simple than that. Just put a button on here, create a new one, and this is going to be spawn using the function spawn point, which is an incredibly useful function, and I'm surprised that everyone that not everyone is using this because this is so incredibly useful, especially for adventure maps where you may want spawn points now. Uh I know it's just some I'm just randomly clicking now. There we go. Now the way checkpoints used to work is that somewhere along the adventure map or a custom map somewhere, there would be a bed or maybe a couple of beds. And basically what would happen is you would have to wait till nighttime or cheat yourself in the nighttime, sleep in the bed, there you go, you can only sleep at night, and then your spawn point would be set next to the bed. Problem with that is uh, it's incredibly situational. I mean, what if it isn't nighttime when it is in the bed, and what if you're not up, so you, you can't use commands to set it to nighttime? What if a monster is nearby and you can't sleep in it because it doesn't let you yet? That's actually kind of inconvenient, and I'm about to show you a way that is a billion times more convenient than that. All right, so now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, kill myself to find out where I spawn. Oh, it appears I just spawned right over here, it's right on this block. So I'm gonna mark this block off with make some stuff. And now I'm gonna show you the spawn point command, which is so unbelievably useful, you not believe how unbelievably useful this is, and how unbelievably simple this is. So we're gonna type slash spawn point. We should put an in there. Pet p. Now what this command said, what this command means is set spawn point of the nearest player because that p means the nearest player. We're done. That's it. And so now push the button. And now you may. Now I've got my uh, command output turned off. So uh, you didn't see it say anything there, but basically what happened is my spawn point is now right here. And that was incredibly easy. If you don't believe me, I'm going to go over here. Type slash kill. Boom, right here. Pretty easy. But now all you have to do after that, now all you have to do after that is just stick a sign on it. Say, this is like, I don't know, where's an arrow shape? Boop, boop, check point. And then someone playing your adventure map, la da 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 da. Ooh, checkpoint. Ooh, button. And then they press it, and then the checkpoint is set. And they don't have to bother with bits or settings mod tonight or anything like that. You just push a button. And actually, if you like, if you don't, if you like, no, oh, I don't want this command box on. Guess what? You can do this. Hide your command block highball. Find a button. Still works. I actually said, uh, actually, let me turn on uh, command block output so you can see what I'm doing. So, so yeah, what we have here is perhaps the simplest way of setting up a spawn point control mechanism. So you just have a player. La da 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 da. Check point. Why do I keep forgetting to put the end in there? And then, all is zoo, player, walking along, ooh, checkpoint, push button. Oh look, my spawn point has been set. La da da, keep walking. And that's it, no beds, no nothing, incredibly fast. This is the simplest setup for setting that up. All right, it's almost as simple as just placing a bed down and saying good enough. But seriously, if you wanna take the time and effort, this will make whatever kind of custom map you're making a lot better. Just to set it right here. Now, in fact, there are lots of other ways to do it. So as you can make it automatic, since command blocks are powered by this one, you can use pressure plates, you can use trip wires, you can even rig up some command blocks to create some sort of player sensor that plays automatic that activates checkpoints automatically without players even noticing. That's a bit more advanced though, and if I continue making these tutorials, maybe I'll make one in the future. Well, I don't know. And uh, also 
But now let's say let's say someone's like walking over here and they're let's say um you don't want the checkpoint to be set for where the player is currently standing. Let's say let's say you want the player's checkpoint over here, like maybe on another side of the wall, or maybe somewhere slightly different, or you just like having a set position where the player will spawn when they die, if they die, instead of just hustling with the randomness of just like, I could be pushing it here, or I could be pushing it here, and you just want it to be more precise. Well, that's pretty easy. All you have to do is you can actually enter in coordinates. So type slash kill. And voila, I have respawned right here on this red dot that I tend to respawn now. And so, yeah, that's basically that's basically it for the basics of the spawn point tutorial. Again, this is incredibly useful and easy to use. And I'll see you for the next tutorial. Goodbye.